Teresa's Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard on this beautiful, sunny, clear sky morning. And it's a wonderful time of the year. It's time to start harvesting garlic scapes. For those that do not know what garlic scapes are, they are the blooms of the garlic. You see that beautiful bloom head and wonderful stalk? You want to harvest these off of your garlic so that they will not put all their energy into the flower, but everything, all the energy goes down into the bulbs, the cloves of garlic. So I got a lot of harvesting to do. Let's get busy. And I have a jar of water here, a big jar of water to put them in as I harvest them. And you just go along and cut them off. These are amazing to eat. Turn you off so y'all can see what I'm doing. These are absolutely amazing to eat. I also pickle them. I mince them up and put them into butter. But you want to get them before they open up because you do not want them to open up. Because if they open up, they'll put all their energy into making seed. And I don't need garlic seed because I have the cloves to use as seed. Look at all those beautiful scapes, garlic scapes. Now you want to catch them while they're still young. That way they're still tender and you can use the whole stem as well as you can also eat the flower, the flower bud. You 
You're going to want to catch them before they open up. They have the same flavor as garlic, just not as strong. And you want to make sure that you get them and not cut any of the leaves at all. Because you want all those leaves. Because yes, I also, when I harvest them, I save the leaves and dehydrate them and make um, powder out of them. Or you can mince them up and use them like you would chives, but they would just be garlic. And let me tell you, they make a baked potato wonderful. And you have to keep an eye on them because they don't always bloom at the same time or send up bloom so. All right, that's it for the first bed. And I have a second bed to harvest and get another jar because my jar is full. I'll bring y'all right back. Okay, I decided to graduate to a bucket because I have a whole lot in the second bed.
always look forward to this time of year because I know it won't be long and the garlic will be ready. And you can also do onions this way as well. Get the flowers off the onions. Unless you're raising onions for seed. And I have quite a few that still haven't shot up bloom spikes, so on scapes, which is perfectly fine with me, means I'm gonna get extra harvest. You have to be careful because they're sneaky. They like to hide. This is too little. smells so good. Like I said, they're sneaky. You gotta watch them. I've got a few that are too small. I'm gonna let them get a little bigger. But for now, I got them all harvested and I like to harvest them in the morning. Preferably before the sun hits them. But they haven't had sun on them long, but look at that big, beautiful bucket of organic, homegrown garlic scapes. All right, I got to get these weighed, and I will bring you back when I get to the shed, when we get to making things with them. All righty, welcome back to the shed of many names, where we have one more garlic scape recipe you can't tell how much i love garlic scapes unfortunately you only get them one time a year 
and this is the time of year to be busy and making garlic scape butter. Oh yes, if you've never had garlic scape butter, it's amazing to use on steaks, garlic bread, baked potatoes, and you name it. You can use it to cook with as well. So let's look down here at the ingredients. Okay, of course I have my garlic scapes here. I know it's going to be more than what my recipe calls for, but you know what? That's fine, because whatever doesn't get used gets froze. And I'm not big on freezing, but you got to store it one way. All right, now the first batch is going to be one cup of softened butter. Real butter. I don't use margarine. And I use salted butter because that's what I like to use. That way I don't have to add salt to it. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to break the scapes up and put them in the blender here. And I'm going to mash. Mince them all up. And I'm just going to keep breaking them up. And you betcha I use the tops as well. Now you see where that won't bend? That means that's woody. Or it won't snap. That's woody. You don't want to use that. I'm just getting them in smaller pieces so the blender doesn't have to work as hard. And I absolutely love the smell of garlic scapes. I'm making a pound at a time. I have one more pound of butter to use up. Just special for these special blessings. It's like snapping green beans. It's not hard, y'all. And let me tell you, they make extra special garlic bread. <coughs> now, if you don't like garlic... One, I feel sorry for you. All right, that one won't snap. It'll snap there. It won't snap there. It'll snap there. I try not to waste any of them. Because these are precious. I only get them one time a year. All right, I'm going to keep snapping until my blender's full, and I'll bring y'all right back. Okay, got the blender full. I still have a whole bunch more left. Depends on how much this minces up to. I might be making another batch of garlic scape vinegar. All right, we're going to get the top put on this. There we go. Sometimes you have to move them around a little bit. And I don't add any water to them because I don't want it to be 
whole bunch of mush. I should have put less in the blender, but hey. Live and learn. There we go. Yep, I should put less in there. Now, just for a side note, you can do this with onion scapes. Because, yes, onions make flowers too. Unless you're trying to make uh, seeds, then leave your uh, scapes your blooms on your onions you can also do this with uh wild onions wild garlic and ramps you can do a whole lot of stuff with this recipe all right now come on Gotta be just right, I'm telling you. Alright, I'm gonna get this minced and all up and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I finally won the battle. I got it minced up. For this first batch, I'm gonna need one cup. So. I see a few big pieces, that's okay. I'll take the bigger pieces out and they can go in there for the vinegar. And it will hurt a thing and I'm not gonna waste waste any of it because this is a once a year gift. And I'm hoping next year to have even more planted. Now, if you're not big into garlic, you might want to use a little bit less. We, on the other hand, we like our garlic. I'm going to go and see how much I got. All in all, I'm going to need two cups for the two pounds. And there we go. I got a little bit left. I will freeze that up because that's too, too fine for the vinegar for my likes. And like I said, this is going to be really garlicky. So if you're not big into garlic, you can always use less. And you want to make sure that your butter is good and soft. That way you get it completely mixed in go on now this is going to be because of the garlic scapes it can be just a hint spicy but Oh, so good. Look at that green, beautiful garlic scape butter. I'm 
make sure that every bit of butter is incorporated. Now, you always want to make sure you taste it. Now, for some of the younger folks, don't you have no heart attack. I'm Southern, and yeah, I know about the old ways. Back in the day, you had a cracker with butter on it, and that was a treat. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. Oh my gracious, that's good. Now, like I said, I'm going to be freezing mine several different ways. Oh, oh my gracious. That was good. Never mind, hold on. I was going to use this for the second batch. No, I need some more. Mm. Nothing like garlic scape butter. Oh my gracious. Now, if you're single, you can use, um, it'll be a little messy, but if you want to use the old fashioned plastic ice cube trays, you can fill each tray up. <coughs> Excuse me. You can fill each tray up, make sure there's no bubbles in it, because you don't want to cheat yourself out of some garlic scape butter. Freeze it in the ice cube tray, and then individually store them in freezer, little like sandwich baggies or snack baggies, and then put them into a bigger Ziploc, like a gallon size bag. Or you can put them in... I couldn't, well, I could find smaller freezer containers than this, but they wanted double the price for them, and you got a whole lot less. So, yeah, I let them stay sitting on the shelf. All right, what you going to do? Just a scoop your butter in there. Oh, I wish y'all could smell this. Oh, my gracious. Man, I want another cracker, but nope. I might get me another one with the second batch. Now you can always make you one more and put it in your fridge to use. Let me tell you, this is some amazing stuff on a baked potato, y'all. Alright, I know it don't look like much, but that's a pound of garlic scape butter right there. 
Let me tell you, it's good on toast, too. You uh, put some in your skillet before you scramble or fry your eggs. Oh, my gracious. There's anything you would use butter for. I wouldn't use it in a dessert, but let me tell you, you can uh, add it melted into your cornbread mix um, before you bake it and get that mixed in real good. Make sure it's soft or melted. And let me tell you, that makes some amazing cornbread. All right. Now, I'm going to get started on the second batch. And I will bring you back for that one. Cause now I have another video showing you a different way to store it for a refrigerator or freezer. And I will link that video at the end of this video and also in the description box below the video. Simple, easy. Anybody can make this. All you need is garlic scapes or onion scapes, wild onions, ramps. Uh, while garlic, you can do it. Anybody can do this. Why eat just plain butter? Yes, I know plain butter is delicious, but spice your life up a little bit. Because I plan on leaving this earth fully seasoned, y'all. But I'm telling you, this makes a difference on toast, on baked potatoes, scrambled eggs, cornbread. Oh, oh it's so great. Simple, easy. Two, two ingredients. Two ingredients. Salted butter and minced fresh garlic scapes. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it encourages you to also grow your own garlic. Because, yeah, you can get three harvests of garlic. Not only the scapes, but the leaves and the uh cloves i make good use of my garlic i waste nothing everyone take care stay safe and sound and remember you got this you can do anything that you put your mind to anything continue to stock your pantry that with foods that will sustain you and make food taste better Continue to stock up your medicine cabinet, your protection, and the absolute necessities that you're going to need. I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video, and may you each be blessed. Hoot, hoot.